Welcome to Hockey Wiz Talks Podcast. Today, I preview the semifinals of the 2022 Stanley Cup Playoffs. In this podcast, I preview the matchups in the semifinals of the 2022 Stanley Cup Playoffs. Eastern Conference Matchups The first matchup in the Eastern Conference is between the Florida Panthers and Tampa Bay Lightning. Key players for Florida, Alexander Barkov, Jonathan Huberto, Claude Giroux, Sam Reinhart, Sam Bennett, Carter Verhage, Anton Lundell, Mason Marchment, Aaron Ekblad, Mackenzie Wieger, Ben Sherratt, and Gustav Forsling. For Tampa Bay, Nikita Kucherov, Steven Stamkos, Braden Point, Andre Palat, Alex Kalorn, Anthony Sorelli, Ross Colton, Victor Hedman, Ryan McDonough, Mikhail Sergeyev, and Eric Cernak. The X Factor for Florida is Patrick Hornquist, and for Tampa, Nick Paul. The goalie matchup is Sergei Bobrovsky for Florida against Andre Vasilevsky for Tampa Bay. The Battle of Florida has become one of the most heated rivalries in the league at the current time, and it should make for a fantastic second round matchup between the two teams. Despite the Florida Panthers being the President's Trophy winner, the Tampa Bay Lightning have won four of the six matchups in the regular season this year, with Tampa Bay outscoring Florida 25-23 to in the season series, with the Lightning even blowing out the Panthers twice. The stage is set for a rematch of last year's first round matchup, so the Panthers will get a chance to avenge their loss against their hated interstate foe. Florida's offense is stacked with an abundance of talent as they have many skilled and versatile forwards that are capable of playing center and wing. The addition of Claude Giroux really put them over the top because he is a capable center in his own right, but by the same token, you can also play him on the wing alongside Barkov or Huberto to make that line even more powerful. As strong as the Panthers are offensively, they are prone to many defensive zone lapses. But fortunately for them, Sergei Bobrovsky has been there to bail them out so far in the playoffs. Florida has mastered coming back from games in the playoffs so far, but they do not want to get in the habit of that against Tampa Bay, as they are a much better defensive team than Washington. The Tampa Bay Lightning showed why they are the defending Stanley Cup champions, even though things did not go smoothly for them in the first round against Toronto. They fought and found found a way to win this series, showing their resilience and championship pedigree. Tampa Bay could be without Braden Point in this series, which would be a huge blow for the Lightning. Andre Vasilevsky was shaky at points in the first round, but was great when the Lightning needed him to be. Florida Panthers win if their stars dominate, get secondary scoring, and excellent goaltending from Sergei Bobrovsky. Tampa Bay Lightning win if their superstars dominate, they get secondary scoring and excellent goaltending from Andre Vasilevsky. My prediction is that the Florida Panthers win the series 4-3. And now a word from our sponsor. Check out my scouting blog at HockeyWiz777Scouting.com. Listen to my scouting blog podcast on anchor.fm backslash HockeyWiz777Scouting. The second matchup in the Eastern Conference is between the Carolina Hurricanes and New York Rangers. Key players in this series for Carolina, Sebastian Ajo, Andrei Sveshnikov, Tevu Teravainen, Vincent Trocek, Jordan Stahl, Nino Niederreiter, Seth Jarvis, Max Domi, Jacob Slavin, Tony D'Angelo, Brett Pesci, and Brady Shea. For the Rangers are Timmy Panarin, Mika Zibanejad, Chris Kreider, Ryan Strom, Andrew Cobb, Frank Vetrano, Alexi Lafreniere, Capo Caco, Philip Hedl, Adam Fox, Jacob Truba, Keandre Miller, and Ryan Lindgren. X-Factors for Carolina, Martin Natchez, and for the Rangers, Tyler Mott. The goalie matchup is Antti Ranta for Carolina against Igor Shesterkin for the Rangers. In the regular season series, the Carolina Hurricanes dominated the series, winning three out of the four matchups. The Canes outscored the Rangers 14-10, but for the most part, all the games were pretty close in scoring. Even though the Carolina Hurricanes and New York Rangers really don't have a rivalry, they do have past grudges worth noting. This is a rematch of the first round series in 2020, which saw the Rangers being swept by the Hurricanes. And because they were eliminated from the playoffs that year, they landed Alexi Lafreniere with the first overall pick that year. To add fuel to the fire of the rivalry, there are four ex-Rangers that currently play for the Carolina Hurricanes. Their goalie, Antti Ranta, as well as three of their defensemen, Tony D'Angelo, Brady Shea, and Brendan Smith. So that will definitely motivate Carolina in the rivalry. The Carolina Hurricanes showed they are still a force to reckon with, even without their number one goalie, Frederick Anderson, punching their ticket into the second round behind backup goalie, Antti Ranta. Carolina was flat out dominant on home ice in the play playoffs as they outscored the Bruins 18 to 6 on home ice but on the road they weren't quite as good being outscored 14 to 6 
The Hurricanes are a very structured team that strives on their defense and transition offense. Unlike most teams that are very structured and defense oriented, Carolina is a fast and exciting team to watch as well, and this is a credit to head coach Rod Brindamore. The Rangers not only have 5 star players on the team, they also have a very deep and versatile supporting cast that can chip in in many ways. Although the Rangers are a very talented and well coached team, they lack playoff experience and that is a disadvantage playing against this well coached and well structured Carolina team. If the Rangers want to advance, they will need Igor Shesterkin to play like a Vezina Trophy candidate in goal. Carolina Hurricanes win if they get scoring from all four lines, play good defense, and get great goaltending from Antti Ranta. New York Rangers win if they get scoring from their top nine and get great goaltending from Igor Shesterkin. My prediction is that the Carolina Hurricanes win the series 4-2. Check out my hockey blog at hockeywisttalkshockey.blastbot.com. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at hockeywis777. Western Conference Matchups The first matchup in the Western Conference is between the Colorado Avalanche and St. Louis Blues. Key players in this matchup for Colorado, Nathan McKinnon, Mikko Rantanen, Gabriel Landeskog, Nazem Kadri, Andre Burakovsky, Arturi Lekkonen, Valeri Nishushkin, Kale McCarr, Devon Taves, Sam Gerrard, and Josh Manson. For the St. Louis Blues, Ryan O'Reilly, Vladimir Tarasenko, Robert Thomas, Pavel Buchnevich, Brandon Saad, David Perron, Raiden Shen, Jordan Cairo, Colton Perenko, Justin Falk, Tori Krug, and Nick Letty. The X-Factors for Colorado is JT Comfer, and for St. Louis is Ivan Barbashev. The goalie matchup in this series is Darcy Kemper for Colorado against Jordan Bennington for St. Louis. The Colorado Avalanche and St. Louis Blues faced each other three times this season, with the Avalanche winning two out of the three matchups. Colorado outscored St. Louis 11-12 in the regular season series, and all three games were two goal games. In the playoffs, however, the Avalanche and Blues have a pretty one-sided rivalry in favor of the Colorado Avalanche. Colorado has a 9-1 record in the playoffs all-time against St. Louis and have outscored them by an average of two goals a game. St. Louis caught fire late in the season, but they are facing arguably the best team in the entire league, so they really have their work cut out for them. Colorado is on a mission to win the Stanley Cup this year and are certainly favorites to do so. Led by a maze of talent, which includes Nathan McKinnon, Miko Rantanen, and Kale McCarr. The Avalanche are a high-powered offense with high-end skill, and they also have great depth as well. To have players like Nazem Kadri and Gabriel Landeskog playing on your second line is a luxury, and it gives other teams matchup nightmares. The skilled defensemen jumping up into the rush also gives other teams headaches because the wingers can lose track of the defensemen very easily. St. Louis is no slouch at all, and they have a bunch of veteran players with Stanley Cup pedigree, so they could definitely give Colorado some trouble. St. Louis has three scoring lines so they can come at you in waves and it makes it tougher on other teams. And to make it tougher on other teams, their defensemen can jump into the rush and contribute offensively. After taking over for Veli Husto in Game 3, Jordan Bennington was excellent in goal, winning all three games he started and putting up a 1.67 GAA and, point, and point .943 save percentage. He will have to play his best hockey if the Blues want to beat the Avalanche in the series. Colorado Avalanche win if their superstars dominate, get depth scoring, and have good goaltending from Darcy Kemper. St. Louis Blues win if they get scoring from their top 9, get production from their defense, and get excellent goaltending from Jordan Bennington. My prediction is that the Colorado Avalanche win the series 4-2. Listen to Hockey Wiz Podcast on Podbean and Spotify. Check out my YouTube channel, Lucas Aoyang. The second matchup in the Western Conference is between the Calgary Flames and Edmonton Oilers. Key players in this series for Calgary, Johnny Goudreau, Matthew Kachuk, Elias Lindholm, Tyler Toffoli, Blake Coleman, Andrew Mangiapane, Mikhail Blackland, Dylan Dubé, Noah Hannafin, Rasmus Anderson, and Chris Tana. For the Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid, Leon Dreistel, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Zach Hyman, Evander Kane, Kyler Yamamoto, Jesse Pulchajarvi, Darnell Nurse, Duncan Keith, Evan Bouchard, Tyson Berry, and Cody Ceci. The X Factors in this series for Edmonton, Ryan McLeod, and for Calgary, Callie Yarncroft. The goalie matchup is Jacob Markstrom for Calgary against Mike Smith for Edmonton. 
The Flames and Oilers faced each other five times in the regular season series, with the Oilers winning three out of the five matchups. Both teams had 20 goals apiece in the series, and most games in the series, with the exception of one game, was a one or two score game. For the first time since 1991, the Battle of Alberta is happening in the playoffs. This is a huge deal for hockey fans and the province of Alberta. Edmonton and Calgary played each other five times in the playoffs before, with the Oilers beating the Flames four out of the five times. Granted, the majority of these matchups came when the Oilers were a dynasty, but the record is still worth noting. Both teams will be eager to prove that they are the superior team in the province. The Calgary Flames battled through a tough first round series against the Dallas Stars, and for the first time in a long time, their stars showed up when they needed them to. Besides the star players on Calgary, they also have solid secondary scoring on the team, but the issue is it can be inconsistent, which is an issue if you are playing Edmonton. Whoever is matched up against McDavid better better be on their A game because he is on a mission right now and if they are not on their A game, he will make them pay. Jacob Markstrom had a great first round series against Dallas, but he will have to be even better against Edmonton if they want to win the series. Connor McDavid was special in the first round against the LA Kings, putting up a total of 14 points in the 7 game series, while his superstar teammate Leon Dreistel tallied 5 goals and 9 points in 7 games against LA. For the first time in a long time, the Oilers have had secondary scoring in the form of Evander Kane, who had 7 goals in the series against LA. Mike Smith was stellar in the first round series against LA. He will need to continue to be dominant for the Oilers to advance to the next round. Calgary Flames win if their stars dominate, they get secondary scoring, and they get superb goaltending from Jacob Markstrom. Edmonton Oilers win if McDavid and Dreistel dominate, and they get great goaltending from Mike Smith. My prediction is that the Edmonton Oilers win the series 4-3. In my next podcast, I update you on the semifinals matchups.